This is a video narration of the slides presented by Zarpok on the anniversary day of the Rising Nepal in 2019. The Rising Nepal. Wait, what does the name suggest? The newspaper's vision is in there in its name. It works for a Nepal that would be rising, would be seen and heard in English by the intellectual and international communities. It has always been an English print channel that gave Nepali readers a rich selection of international news and views and foreigners the national perspectives to what was happening in the country. Our mission now is to make the newspaper more readable and relevant in the media bazaar of today. TRN has completed 54 years of manufacturing a broadsheet, with its own big machines, number of men and women, in New Road and Birati Nagar. Good or bad, no other English newspaper in Nepal has been around for this long. Its tome of texts and graphics, in print and microfilm, are treasures found nowhere else, as such. A little about me here. As the chief editor of the nation's first English broadsheet, my job is to lead the daily to realize its vision. How do I do that? By nagging colleagues to give more time and more attention. Today, though, I will do something different, share my gratitude to these same colleagues. In fact, I'm grateful to all the hosts here, my colleagues, my friends from sister publications and my bosses in the management and board. The day is special for me also because so many of my former colleagues and predecessors have made it here today. I am grateful to you all as well as the senior journalism teachers and practitioners of the craft who have come here. Let me show you a quick glance at this doorman from The Last Laugh, a movie released today in 1924. And The Three Idiots, released on this day in 2009. If the rising Nepal had been someone born today, according to a horoscope, that person would aim high but with a maturity to accept failure. The last laugh hints at every man's situation. The story goes, a hotel doorman is proud of his work and position. He gets old and demoted to washroom attendant. Friends and family taunt and reject him. He returns to the hotel and sleeps in the washroom. A billionaire patron dies in his arms in the washroom and he gets a fortune as per will. The doorman returns to the hotel, dines with the watchman, gives tips to all. In the final scene, a beggar asks the doorman for money. He invites the beggar, makes him the new doorman to bring the guests inside. New doorman, with old routine, goes on. Three idiots, as many of you must have seen, hints at how status quo gets manufactured. The challenge for the rising Nepal is to find a way around both the situations, because we need to look into new ways of defining and applying machines to do what we have always done faster and better, e.g., tailor and use spell and grammar checkers, repetition checkers, headline harvesters and recommenders, news quality indices and evaluators, and so on. That is why we have chosen our topic for discussion in the interaction, that is, the rising Nepal, then, now and next. Then, we hope many of you, my predecessors and former staff, will tell us about whether TRN put a bet on innovation in the past, the hardware and software. Now, with my colleagues, in the next session after lunch, I will show you who we are in the newsroom today and share glimpses of what we are striving to do every day. Next, we want you, our most valued guests, to tell us what we should strive for to make tomorrow's TRN more readable and relevant. Let me welcome you all again and thank you for being with us today.